Hi all and welcome back to the channel and I hope you're all doing okay. I've got a few stories, articles, whatever you want to call it, I want to cover tonight because I thought they were actually quite interesting and I'm going to start off with uh, Bernie Ecclestone because he believes Felipe Massa is completely right for opening a lawsuit against the sport concerning his 2008 world title defeat. Lewis Hamilton won the Drivers' Championship by a single point over Massa that year although a deliberate crash involving Nelson Piquet Jr. had an impact on the final point standings. Massa is seeking damages and hopes to see the result overturned in his favour. Ecclestone said, If he had asked me, I would have said it was the complete right thing to do, to sue and to let a judge decide what is right and wrong. I cannot say anything about the outcome and what will happen, I have not got a clue. I don't think anyone has, but from his point of view, it is better that an English judge comes up with a verdict. It will be of more help to him. It makes you wonder if Bernie Ecclestone does want that result overturned, doesn't it? I mean, some, it's just a bit of an odd one, but then again, he's not short of a few quid, so I'm pretty sure he can dig himself out of that one. So sticking with the Lewis Hamilton theme, because Lewis Hamilton has admitted there was no element of fun in his P9 finish at the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix, and the start of the season has offered little encouragement. Hamilton said... I wouldn't say I am having fun. I'm racing for ninth, so I definitely can't say that. Finishing ninth is definitely not fun. But I am enjoying the actual racing part, and I was hunting, and I was pushing as hard as I could. I was maximising everything I had with the car. I was right on the edge. And ex-Formula 1 driver David Coulthard believes that Lewis Hamilton is mentally already at Ferrari. Coulthard told Channel 4, He's just not been settled with this car, and you can tell, you know, George Russell is just honing the lap time right now, and you can feel that Lewis is on the back foot. What we do know, though, is if he does find a window of performance, then you know he will deliver. But right now, it's looking like his decision to head off to Ferrari mentally, he is already there. And I find that quite interesting because when you think Lewis would have had a lot of say, as we know he did, in the W15, to see George Russell, some might argue, as doing a better job at the moment, it's quite interesting to see because obviously the car is working better for George than it is for Lewis. I mean, if Lewis was given it everything he had and everything the car had in Jeddah, then it tells me that there's something just fundamentally wrong with that car. But I would like to hear Lewis's reaction to what David Coulthard said there about him mentally being already at Ferrari. Quite interesting. And uh, moving on to Red Bull, because Red Bull's motorsport advisor, Helmut Marko, insists Daniel Ricciardo must improve his performance at RB. Ricciardo has finished 13th and 16th in the opening two races of 2024. He is fighting for the second Red Bull seat, but Sergio Perez is currently outperforming him. Marco told Speedweek... There's a lot at stake this season for both Yuki and Daniel. Yuki's qualifying was very good and Ricardo has to come up with something soon. At least Tsunoda is very good in qualifying. Then they are in the points in the first stint only to fall further behind afterwards. Whether they are putting too much strain on the tyres or there are other reasons is what you need to find out. And I did notice that Tsunoda was doing a pretty good job in the RB. Has Daniel Ricciardo lost his, that edge again? Is, is there something not quite gelling there? I, I don't know. It's a very weird one, that is. And to finish off with, Red Bull's Christian Horner saga is set to continue. It has now emerged that Horner may be forced to defend himself once again, with the Sun reporting that the Red Bull employee at the centre of the allegations is set to appeal against a decision made by her parent company. So this just isn't going to go away, is it? It really isn't. And I think I said in a recent video that she only had, I think it was until last Friday, to appeal. So she must have got, got the appeal in in time, I would have thought. So that'll be another interesting one to watch when we go on to round two of this. So, And also, apparently, Adrian Newey is getting fed up with all this that's going on at Red Bull. Um, I think this is starting to have an impact on the team. Maybe I'm wrong. Honestly, it's it's too much to cope with. <laughs> I can't keep up with it. But anyway, that's all i got for you for now. I uh, really hope you enjoyed the video. And of course, if you do like what I do, please like and subscribe. And also press the notification bell so that you get those all-important future warnings of my uploads. Again, thank you for your comments, your likes, your shares. I really, I really do enjoy reading the comments and I do like replying to them as soon as I can. It might take me a little while, but I do, I do enjoy reading them and replying to them. So again, thank you for everything and thank you for being here. I really and truly do appreciate it. So until next time, take care.